Meanwhile, Louisville ISD still needs more than 50 armed guards as the new year begins there today. The district came up with a different program for now. Cleo Green live at one of the district's elementary schools. Cleo, this is a big challenge for some of those schools right now. It really is, and there's a snag in the, I guess, the project as well here for Louisville ISD. I'm right in front of Prairie Trail Elementary School. They've got the yard sign here saying happy first day of school. In a couple of hours or so, there's going to be a lot of people out here. Now, I do want to mention here that Louisville ISD is a huge school district. It covers Flower Mound here, uh, Hebron, and uh, the Colony. And with that new rule in place, that means they're going to have to cover at least 50 campuses to put that armed guard there. Uh, here's the new plan for Louisville ISD. They are launching launching something called the Guardians program, which really is going to operate like a small police force. Each campus guardian and supervisor will receive about 100 hours of training and they're going to undergo background checks, drug screenings and psychological evaluations before any type of hire. And they must already have their Texas license to carry the district. They are looking for retired law enforcement, retired firefighters, honorably discharged veterans and security professionals to fill these roles. Pay is about about 30 bucks an hour. So far, 43 people have actually applied to be a guardian and 10 are set to be hired here in Louisville ISD. But here's the snag. That's going to be money because Louisville ISD did receive about $1.5 million from the state to make sure that they can make these security improvements. But the guardian program, that's going to cost about $4 million. Here's longtime superintendent Lori Rapp. The funding is a concern for our district. I ultimately think there's no more important investment than in the children in the state of Texas. But school leaders say they're going to make sure they get this done. Uh, for now, Louisville ISD, they're going to continue with their rover program, which sends a police officer to each campus to patrol. I do want to mention here that lawmakers, uh, they didn't add any type of punishment for districts that aren't in compliance with the new rule, but they do have until September 1st. I'll send it to you, Kara.